So with the release of GameMaker 2.3 and everything that's going on with that, I decided to test out what would happen if we opened up some older projects. And I've got three here. They are the courses that I've done. They are a beginner, intermediate, and advanced course, each one moving up into complexity. So I thought it would be a really good test to try opening these three projects up. So I'm gonna start with my beginner course, which is a space shooter. There's quite a few objects and a little bit of stuff here. It's not too complex, so I figured that the beta would be able to open it and run it perfectly fine. So let's try that out. When you open it up, it tells you you have to save it as something new. So I'm just gonna say beginner project. And then it goes through this process of converting it. The smaller the project, the less time it takes. So it says it converted fine, and you can see over here that it has all of the stuff that my game had before. So sounds, sprites, everything here came in properly. Let's see if it runs without any errors. And looks like it does. So it looks like it works pretty much just fine, which is awesome. Okay, so that's the beginner project. Now let's try a more advanced project. Here is the intermediate tower defense course. This one is a little bit larger. It's got more rooms and a lot more code. So let's see how the beta handles this. Again, he says you have to convert it. So I'll just say tower defense or TD. Now this one is gonna take a little bit longer because it's a larger project. Just makes sense, converting it. And it says it's converted successfully. So I've got all of these folders here, a lot more rooms, a lot more scripts and everything, uh, but it looks like everything works fine. They've changed all of the scripts to functions, which is what they are now. So let's run it. Take a few seconds since this project is larger. It's got to build everything for the first time, but it looks like it's working just fine. Okay, cool. So that's the intermediate project, working just the way I would expect it to. On to the last one, my biggest project, which is the advanced course of creating a turn-based combat game. Let's open this up and see how it works. This one is, again, a lot larger than the intermediate course, so it's gonna take even longer. I'm gonna say advanced. It's gotta convert the entire project. And of course you can find all of these courses on my website, letslearnistogether.com, if you're interested in taking them. So it says it's converted successfully. I've got everything right there. Let's try running it and see what happens. Okay, so this one, it says it converted properly, but we've got all of these compile time errors right here. So let's take a look at them. So line 229, right here. Line 229 is a plus plus counter. It doesn't come up with an error on this side, but it says that an assignment operator is expected. So this is kind of strange. What I've discovered is that for whatever reason, this project in particular, GameMaker does not like it when you say plus plus or minus minus. It thinks that there's an error. Now, why that is, I'm actually not entirely sure because my other projects actually do have that and they work totally fine. If I take this away and then I say counter plus equals one, try running it again, this one goes away. So line 229 is now not a problem. It works just fine. But if we come in here, we can see again that there's an error. Now an idea I just had is what if it has to be inside braces now and that is why it's having problems. So this is line eight. Let's try that. Okay, so that's a very interesting thing. It looks like GameMaker has an issue if we do not have brackets around any time we say plus plus or minus minus. So if you're gonna be using 2.3, on the beta at least, I imagine this will get fixed on the final version. But if you're using the beta and you import a project, if you have an if statement, with no brackets around it and you're just saying plus plus or minus minus, it does not like that. So you can fix it by either saying plus equals one, minus equals one, or wrapping it in brackets. It looks like 
either of those will actually fix the problem. So that's kind of cool. So these have other errors here, but that's because it, didn't, it has these errors it's picking up and then causing a cascade of issues. So let me finish wrapping these up and let's see what happens. Now, if we run it, it works just fine. So that's pretty interesting. That's one small error, but for the most part, this has actually worked really, really well and this has converted my small to large projects in exactly the way I would expect. All of the folders, everything is still right here exactly the way it should be. We converted the scripts into functions, which not a hard thing to do. And yeah, I'm really impressed with how well this works. It is still a beta because it has a few issues here and there, probably more than what I have discovered. But overall, 2.3 looks fairly stable and converts old projects a lot better than GameMaker 2 did for GameMaker 1.4 projects. I remember converting those and going through a video just like that, and I had a lot more issues back then. So 2.3 seems to be a much better update or much better jump than 1 to 2 was, which is nice. So that's all I wanted to do. If you've got old projects, make copies before you do this, but it looks like this will work just fine, which is really, really cool. And that's what I've got for you. If you like this, leave a like, hit the subscribe and ring the bell. That way you get notified of my future videos on whatever I'm working on. I would really appreciate that. And as always, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. A huge thank you to all of my patrons who go above and beyond in being awesome and supporting me on Patreon. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more from me, please consider supporting me on Patreon.